Oh my god, I blew your mind. I blew your mind. I don't believe it unless I see the test shot. I don't believe it unless I see the test shots. Um, okay. Homie has showed you a link in the prior two videos with the, someone else's test shots. It's a hardcore fact that uh, uh, chilled down electronics uh, have better uh, electro con electrical conductivity. They also, of course, therefore generate less heat. It's not heat that's the issue. Um, it is in a, in a way, but it's actually the fact that uh, when something is hotter, it is more lossy in radio frequency interference, electromagnetic interference. Now, I've done three tests with this Sony. I gotta pop the card back in here. I'm letting it actually heat back up so that uh, condensation doesn't develop. I've done three tests with this Sony point-and-shoot camera. 15-minute test in the freezer, a 20-minute test in the freezer, and a half-hour test in the freezer. I did a test down the hall that was very, very specific, exact same lighting, no flash, obviously. And uh, I'll uh, show you a few different sections from uh, the warmed-up camera um, versus the cold camera. And I didn't just like turn it on in the warmed-up test. I actually had it on and was taking a few shots. I took like a 30-second test video. That way it generates internal heat. But also when it is hot, it becomes more lossy. See, the heat affects the uh, conductivity and, uh, and as far as making it more lossy and vice versa. They both affect each other. And that interferes, electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference, uh, electromagnetic radiation with the actual signal. It causes noise. And uh, this is what people with Sony or any camera, but Sony's the worst, are experiencing. They think, well, you know, why? Check the links below for the pictures that I'll post, okay? And they're just test shots of a stupid poster down the hall on a door in a dark hallway. So I'm taking the test shots in a dark hallway so you can really see the noise. And the differences are uh, rather significant. Um, um, and uh, they're certainly more so on a much larger sensor. I mean, there's a tiny little uh, compact camera sensor uh, inside this little uh, Sony point-and-shoot, but it applies to all cameras. You know, uh, optical uh, astronomy has known this for decades now, but photographers basically don't know it. And uh, when you have a camera, let's just say this is a Sony a7R2, and I'm not singling out Sony, I'm really not, and you got a, a ton of crud just jammed right in against every other damn thing. And, you know, that's an undeniable fact. There's just a ton of stuff in there. That the noise, the electromagnetic radiation, and the electromagnetic interference, uh, electrical noise is no different than a signal that uh, comes from whatever shot it is you're taking. Because light and electricity, I mean, all of this stuff is electromagnetic, okay? and they spill over and they interfere with each other. This is an undeniable fact. So test it, uh, check the test shots below. Even though it's been confirmed on the links I gave you in the prior videos, I thought I would confirm it for you because people are like, I ain't never taking any test shots, I don't believe you. Well, I mean, I'm right even if I didn't take the sh test shots, but I did it anyway for you, and so check them out, okay? Bye! Links are below. It works exactly like I told you it works. Did you deny it? Well, whatever. Some people did, I'm sure. Bye!